I am never studying again. Really, I am done, done, done. Hey guys, my name is Divya. I am a doctor and I have been in a management role with a healthcare company for a while. I recently took the SHRM exam and I've been doing a series of videos on my channel to help everybody get certified. Uh, so today's video, guys, is a random video. The clip that you saw before, believe me, that was me um, a few years back. Uh, and this is what I thought. Um, I really thought that I'm never ever going to study again. So I wanted to tell you a little bit of my story and I hope that it would help you guys out. Um, help you in a very odd sort of a manner, but let me really explain uh, what I'm talking about. So what I wanted to discuss is why should you study after college? Why should you study after a degree? Why should you study uh, for a certification exam or take certification exams? Um, and this is what I wanted to explain in this video. So I was done with my doctorate, with my specialty in 2010, and I took a couple of licensure exams because of, I was living uh, outside of India at that time. And licensure exams are common in certain countries which you have to take. So there are a comprehensive exam um, of the last four to eight years, whatever you've studied, you know, is fair game and can appear on the exam. So these are tough exams. They require a lot of studying. The exam itself is about five to seven hours depending on your specialty, depending on the board, um, uh, it just depends on a variety of factors. So I just taken uh, a bunch of these exams and then um, I thought, that's it. I am done studying. I'm done with my degree. I'm out of university and hey, I'm actually working and earning. How good is that? Now I'm never going to study again. So lo and behold, I started working for a hospital and my hospital was going through something called a healthcare IT implementation. The IT folks within the hospital were trying to implement a system uh, that would help everybody in the hospital, including clinicians like me. So, um, you know, some people like us got to be a part of it because, yes, we didn't program, we didn't sit there and code, but we helped with a lot of build, uh, clinical and analytical both, because we showed interest and because it was good for the hospital. There are a lot of clinical, medical, legal angles when you're implementing an IT system within a hospital. And if you have someone clinical, they can take care of all these things. So that was the reason. That was really the reason that we got involved with all of this. And for doing all this, you had to actually do certain IT certifications. So I had to start studying again. This was not really something that I chose to do. It wasn't really an option. I think I just landed there and I started studying. So one after another, I started taking certifications and I, I got done with five different IT certifications. Looking back, it was quite a bit of studying, um, but you know, hey, that happens. And then uh, time moved on in 2018, um, I myself optionally, voluntarily, chose to t take a management exam and this management exam was the PGMP, the Program Management Professional Exam offered by the Project Management Institute. The more popular exam I think is PMP, which is the Project Management Professional Exam and that's also offered by PMI. In 2018, when I took this exam, it was tough. It was tough studying again. It was tough focusing. I was a working professional. I was already a mother. And this is what I said after I passed my PGMP. I said, I am never going to study or take another certification exam. I really thought that it would never be worth it to study and put in all that effort again. And then, then came 2020, which is the year we are in now, and I wanted to take the SHRM exam. So guys, this has been my journey, and I wanted to share it with you. Year after year, I feel that I won't study, but I really come back to it. I think it's one of those things that has benefited me the most, and I think it has been an incredible journey. Every time I felt exhausted, I felt like I'm never going to do it again, all I've done is taken a bit of a break and then I've come right back to it. So now I'm actually learning how to code and I'm learning a language called SQL. A lot of you prob are probably aware of it. So in the healthcare world, this is an important thing to know. 
because uh, a lot of the databases, the tables are SQL based and if you know this language, it's an advantage. Uh, in my role, since I'm in a management role, I obviously don't sit and code every day. And the only reason I'm saying this on this channel is to share that, hey, I have so much to do, I have so much to learn, and I have a long way to go. So for all my folks out there, whether you're taking the PMP, the PGMP, the SHRM, a coding exam, or all the other exams that I've not even heard of, guys, I want to tell you, it's totally totally worth it. Please keep doing it because it's really going to benefit you. The thing about certification exams that it's, is that it's studying right after school, after college, after university, after a degree or after multiple degrees. All of you probably have a bachelor's, a master's, a doctorate, maybe a double doctorate. But please don't give up. Please don't give up on something so special called studying and learning. I think in school and college, we have a very strict schedule and that used to bog me down. It used to make me feel like I don't want to study again. It used to make me feel too restricted. But the beauty of certification exams is that we sign up for it when we think we're ready. I know that there's still a lot of preparation left. And I know that we still have a marathon to run by studying for it, reviewing, re-reviewing, taking all the practice tests. But as I said, it's totally worth it. Do remember that these certification exams are not going to help you right away. So the day you get certified, if you're expecting that the next day you'll be someone different, you'll be promoted, or you'll have a salary bump within a day or a week, that's not going to happen. But the long-term benefit of this is incredible. You will always be a jack of all trades and a master of some of those trades. And I do hope that I am inculcating that in my life because it's truly inspiring and motivating. So for my, all my folks out there, all my subscribers taking the SHRM exam, the PMP exam and the PGMP exam, Guys, I want to tell you, it's totally, totally worth it. All those promotions and salary increases will come eventually with time because people are going to be amazed by the knowledge that you have and the things that you do and the things that you do in a variety of areas and facets. The fact that you've chosen to take a certification exam just shows that you want to be different and you want to keep learning and keep going. And that's the true mark of a correct attitude, the right attitude, and the person that anybody would want to hire. So I've shared my story today of how I got into exams and certification exams. The initial was by chance, but the latter two exams, the latest two exams, have really been my choice, and they were voluntary. So going forward, I think I'm going to continue learning, continue studying, continue taking exams. My one and only trick and the best trick to take certification exams, take your time guys. It's okay if you do it in 2020 or 2021 or maybe even 2022. It doesn't really matter. Just take your time, study, mull over the material and it's going to be good. The other little trick that I use is that I take certification exams every other year. So it gives me time to sort of recuperate. So if I've taken an exam in 2020, 2021 is still going to be a learning period, but probably not an exam period. I think 2022, I'll target to take another exam if something comes my way, and it usually does. So it's one year of studying an exam, one year of hopefully learning and doing something important, but no exam, because that really helps me rejuvenate my brain cells, and then the next year, I'll do something. So I wanted to share my story here, not as an inspiration, not as anything out of the world, but just to share. I do hope that it keeps you motivated while you're studying, because I know motivation while studying is sometimes so hard. It's so difficult when you have a full-time job or when you've just come out of college and you know your brain cells are so full of studying, so fully saturated, or when you have you know, full-time job and kids running around and you're just overworked and overburdened and you just don't know where you're going to find the time. But if we do these little bits over a period of a year, hopefully, and get our certifications, it feels so great. The accomplishment, the feeling, the learning is beyond amazing. 
So I hope that you would stick with the certification exam, the exam or the studying that you're actually doing. And believe me, you will reap the benefits sooner or later. I do hope these videos are helping you. If they are, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.